I'm Jessica. Do you know how to go potty all by yourself? Well, if you don't, I can show you how. And I'm here to help. When you can use the potty all by yourself, you can say, I've, I've got, got potty, potty power. power. play a game? It'll be lots of fun. It's called Baby or Big Kid. And all you have to do is answer Baby or Big Kid. Ready? Here we go! Who can make a tower with blocks? A baby or a big kid? Big Kid! Right! Big Kid. Who needs help to eat their dinner? Baby or Big Kid? Baby! Exactly! Who can color all by themselves? Baby or Big Kid? Big Kid! Who sleeps in a crib? Baby or Big Kid? Baby! Who can blow bubbles all by themselves? Baby or Big Kid? Big Kid! Who needs their diaper changed by their mommy? Baby or Big Kid? Baby! And finally, who can go potty all by themselves? Baby or Big Kid? Big Kid! Good job! Thanks for playing Baby or Big Kid. You're becoming a big kid. And I bet you're learning to do new things every day. Think about it. What can you do by yourself? Look what you can do by yourself. Look what you can do without anyone's help. You can walk. You can run. all by yourself. But there's one more thing you have to learn, and that's to go potty. Do you know what that means? Well, let me explain. You see, since you were a baby, your body has been making pee and poop. Some people call it pee, wee-wee, tinkle, or number one. And some people call poop, poopy, or number two. We're going to call it pee and poop. 
What does a baby wear to help keep the pee and poop from messing up their clothes? Do you know? Sure you do. It's a diaper. Now when you were a baby, you wore a diaper so that the pee and poop wouldn't make a mess. Then a grown-up, like your mom or dad, would change your diaper. They would take the messy diaper off of you, wipe your bottom clean, and put a clean diaper on. Big kids don't wear diapers anymore. They've learned to use the potty. That means that the pee and poop their body makes goes into the potty. If you want to be a big kid, you have to say, no more diapers for me. Are you ready to say that? Go on, say it. No more diapers for me. No more diapers for me. I'm gonna use the potty, gonna give it a try. No more diapers for me. find the potty in your house? Is it the bedroom? No! The kitchen? No! The living room? No! The bathroom? Yes! You're right! You can find the potty in the bathroom. This is what a big grown-up potty looks like. Your mom and dad may also call it a toilet bowl. That's where the pee and poop go when you go potty. Now, this is a handle. When you pull the handle, it makes the water go round and round. It's called flushing. When you pull the handle, you flush the pee and poop away. Thanks, TP. But lots of kids don't use the grown-up potty right away. Most kids start by using a potty chair. This is a potty chair. Potty chairs come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. Do you have a potty chair? This is my potty chair. This is my potty chair. This is my potty chair. When you sit on your potty chair, sometimes it can take a long time for you to go potty. And that's okay. But there are lots of things you can do while you're sitting on the potty. What do you like to do? What do you like to do when you're sitting on the potty? When you're sitting on the potty for a while? Well, there's lots of things to do that'll make you happy too. Sitting on the potty. You can flip through a book, look at all the nice pictures. So keep a stack of books nearby.
when you finish going potty, do you know what you have to do next? Think about what mommies and daddies do for babies when they change their diaper. What you have to do is clean up and wipe your bottom. You use toilet paper to do that. All you have to do is pull on the first sheet and more will roll out. That's pretty simple. Then wipe your bottom. You just gone potty, did number two. Now what you, what you, what you, what you gonna do? You're gonna wipe your bottom, 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 front to back. Wipe, 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 it's easy as that. Find the toilet paper, then take hold. Give it a pull, watch the toilet paper roll. Wipe your bottom, wipe your bottom, wipe your bottom. Now, after you've wiped your bottom, there's something else you have to do. Throw the toilet paper in the potty, and then ask a grown-up to throw the pee, poop, and toilet paper from your potty chair into the grown-up potty. Then all you have to do is flush. To flush, all you have to do is pull the handle on the potty. After going potty, there's one more thing you have to do. And that's wash your hands. You wash your hands to wash away the germs. After you've gone potty, before you're really through, there's one more thing that you gotta do. You gotta wash your hands, scrub them really good. Wash your hands like you know you should. Use lots of soap and water. And roll your hands around. Wash the germs away. Cause you're a big kid now. Wash, scrub, wash, scrub, wash. Scrub, wash, scrub. You gotta wash your hands, scrub them really good. Wash your hands like you know you should. Use lots of soap and water. And roll your hands around. Wash the germs away. Cause you're a big kid now. How long should you take to wash your hands? About 20 seconds. 20 seconds is about how long it takes to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So when you wash your hands, you can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And when you're finished singing, your hands will be clean. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now you know what the potty is and how to use the potty. To get potty power, it's going to take time and lots of practice. Potty power doesn't happen right away. That reminds me of a story about a little princess and how she learned to go potty. It's the story of the princess and the potty. Once upon a time, in a castle on a hill, lived a three-year-old princess. Her name was Princess Jill. Princess Jill was quite a good little child. She was gentle and kind, and she always smiled. But when it came to the potty, she just wouldn't go. When asked why, she'd say, I don't know. The queen and the king, her mom and her dad, were confused and upset and feeling quite sad. For the princess, you see, was clever, it's true. Just look at all the things that she could do. The princess could read, she could color and draw. Why, she could even drink her juice from a straw. The princess could eat without any help. The princess could do lots of things all by herself. 
She's a big girl. Why won't she use the potty? The king's jester had a thought. <gasps> an idea to share. Maybe she doesn't like the color of her potty chair. Maybe, said the queen. Perhaps, said the king. At this point, we'll try just about anything. So the jester took a brush and some paint to the chair and painted the potty with oh so much care. He dabbled paint here and dabbled paint there and soon he was finished painting the chair. The jester presented the chair to the queen who was quite pleased to see that the chair was now green. The king was hopeful it would do the trick and wanted to show the princess quite quick. The jester, along with the king and the queen, presented the new putty chair, now painted green. The princess applauded. She thought it was great. Then you'll use it? asked the king. Someday, I think. <gasps> so the princess took the potty to her room to play. And she played with it, well, most of the day. She likes it, the queen said with a smile. She's been playing with the potty chair for quite a while. The king then suggested, Do you think? Should we dare? Introduce the princess to the royal underwear? Do you think it's too soon? The queen asked with concern. Let's give it a try, the king said in return. So the queen, the king, and the jester for support summoned the princess to the royal court. Uh, summon the princess! We have something to show you. It's for big kids, like you. It's the royal underwear. Which, by the way, were blue. You wear them instead of a diaper, your highness. So here, try them on. There's no need for shyness. She pranced around in the royal clothes. Then suddenly shouted, I have to go. The jester quickly responded and ran for the potty chair. And soon the princess was sitting without a second to spare. The princess sat on the potty without a care. But nothing seemed to happen. She just kind of sat there. How long will this take? I haven't a clue, the jester said. I know what to do. I'll entertain you two. So the jester sang a song. <clears throat> he told jokes that were fun. Hey, did you hear the one about the knight? Yeah, it's not that funny. Mary had a little dragon, little dragon, little dragon. Mary had a little dragon who breathed the fire out his nose. <laughs> And finally, the princess said, I'm done. The king was quite happy at the potty outcome, and the queen was quite proud of what her daughter had done. But the jester had a question. He wanted to know why. What made the princess finally give the potty a try? So he asked the young princess when they were alone, as the princess was playing on her daddy's throne. What made you go potty? The princess simply replied, I want to be a big kid, that's why. Now you can try using your potty chair too. And soon you'll be going potty like a big kid all the time. Then you'll feel proud. Proud for being a big kid. And proud to wear your underwear. I'm proud to wear my underwear. I'm proud to 
you know everything there is to know about going potty. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be able to say, I got, got potty, potty power. power! Potty power! Potty power! Potty power! Potty power! Potty power! I can do it myself, I'm a big kid now. I can do it myself, I got potty power. No need to tell mom, no need to tell dad. I can use the potty and I'm so glad. to do. I go to the potty 